In knot physics, we assume that the spacetime manifold is a branch manifold, and in a previous video, we showed how those branches can separate and recombine. Where the branches are separate from each other, they're independent, and where the branches intersect each other, they are identical. Here we show what happens when the branches of the branch manifold separate, and there's a knot at that location. If there's initially one knot on one branch, after the branches separate, there's one knot on each of the branches. And because those branches are independent of each other, those knots can move around independently. For the sake of clarity, we show the independent branches with significant vertical separation between them. This is not an accurate depiction of how the manifold actually behaves, but the vertical separation does help to show the individual branches. We remember that in this theory, a particle corresponds to a knot on the spacetime manifold, and so we can think of a knot on a branch as being an instance of a particle. One real particle, like an electron, for example, would have one knot on every branch of the spacetime manifold. Virtual particles would also have knots on the branches of the spacetime manifold, but the difference would be that a virtual particle may not have one knot on every branch. We can imagine the situation with one real particle, for example, one real electron, on a spacetime manifold that has many, many branches. Because the particle is real, it would have one knot on every branch, and that means many knots. Those knots would be distributed over the spacetime manifold according to some distribution, and we will see how the properties of that distribution of knots corresponds to the quantum properties of the particle. 